everyone, my name is Evan. I'm a member of the care team here at Sawgrass, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to connect your printer with Wi-Fi. So to get started here, before you do anything on your computer, you will wanna tell the printer, I wanna to connect to a wireless network. So in order to do that here, we're gonna do some steps on the printer itself. So we're gonna start by hitting menu. It should wake it up and bring up the ink levels. So then we're gonna hit menu again. Now we need to go down to system settings. And from here, we want to scroll down to interface settings using the up and down arrows. And now we need to go to network. And now towards the bottom here, we should see LAN type. And from here, you want to click on LAN type and then go down to wireless LAN. So when we click on that, it should say programmed. And now we can hit the menu button and your Wi-Fi light should start to blink momentarily goes. So now the printer knows, hey, I need to look for a wireless network. So now we are going to connect to one. So we're going to hit menu, go down to system settings, interface settings, wireless LAN. And now we just want to click on wireless LAN easy setup. And from there, SSID auto search. Now it'll search for your Wi-Fi network. So you'll want to select your own Wi-Fi network and then it'll tell you to enter your password. So you're going to click the button underneath enter and now you can enter in your Wi-Fi password. If you have capitalization or special characters, you can click the button underneath ABC slash one, two, three, and then you can select if you need uh, numbers, symbols, um, uppercase or lowercase letters to enter in your password. So mine should already be connected. Um, as soon as you have your password entered, you'll hit the button underneath accept, and then it should say either connection failed or connection succeeded. Um, so once it says connection succeeded, um, we need to test the strength of your Wi-Fi to make sure that you don't need to either one, move your router closer to your printer or move your printer closer to your router. So to test the signal here, we have to go to menu, System settings, interface settings, I'll go to network again. Oh, it might actually be under wireless LAN. Yes, wireless LAN signal underneath wireless LAN. So from there, it says that my status is currently 44%. So that is typically too low in order to use Wi Fi printing. Typically, we want to go for at least, at the bare minimum, 75%. Um, if you can't reach 75%, you're better off using the USB cord because what can happen is during printing, it will drop connection and it'll spit out your image. So you'll be wasting ink, paper, and a, potentially a substrate. Um, so shoot for 100%. If you can, 75 is passable, but not always recommended. Okay. Um, so from there, now that we have our printer connected via Wi-Fi, we can go to our computer and start to search for it. So I'm here at the Add New Printer screen here in Print Manager. So I need to select my model as well as my ink type. And I will hit Next. Here it'll ask you to install the printer driver. Um, you just want to make sure that the required and installed versions match. If they don't, you can click Reinstall. And now we'll go to Next and click on Wi-Fi. Now we can click on Add Printer. From here, we can accept the agreement and click Next. Add New Printer. And now here, um, you, it'll say you can connect to the USB cable. We don't want to do that. We want to search for it over port or LAN. Um, now you can search automatically. So we can do that here. Click Next. Now it's going to search for printers on my Wi-Fi network. And it looks like it found three, because we have three connected here in the Sawgrass building. Uh, but here it's listing each of them as a different IP address. So we need to see what those are. And so now, in order to know which one that I'm connecting to, the way that you tell the printer's IP is on the printer itself. You have to hit Menu. The same steps that we've already mastered from before system settings, interface settings, 
This time we go to network, and now we need this machine IPv4 address. So now when we click on that, it'll take us to this screen, and you want to click the button underneath IP add. So this here is your printer's IP address. So it looks like the one I need to click here on the computer is going to be the middle one. So we'll go ahead and click next. We can click continue, and now it'll add the driver and connect to my printer. Perfect, set now. And now it's found the printer and it looks like Print Manager is connected, so we can click finish. And we'll make sure everything's up and running. Now here, this menu that pops up, this window here, this is where you can go to check the bypass tray or if you have a second tray, um, you can add them here. If you don't have those, you can just click OK. And we will restart later. All right, now if we check in printer utilities, we can check and see that we are online. So we need to check here. This is the printer I added. And there you can see that it says status offline, but it's still showing ink levels. That status there is probably because it was only showing at 44%. So sometimes it will connect with a low percent rating, um, but it may not print. So this is telling me that it's too low to print. All right, so that about covers it. You are now connected via Wi-Fi. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.